In the vast, velvet-dark expanse of the winter sky, a single ruddy star burns with an intensity that seems to defy the cold. Its light, a deep pulsing red, has drawn eyes upward for millennia, from desert nomads tracing myths across the heavens. Two modern astronomers peering through lenses of unimaginable precision, this is Betelgeuse, the fiery giant in Orion's shoulder, a star so colossal that its edges would swallow entire worlds if it sat where our sun does. Its glow is not just a beacon in the night but a cosmic riddle, a story of creation and destruction, written in light that began its journey 548 years ago. To look at it is to glimpse a moment frozen in time, a snapshot of a star teetering on the edge of eternity. Centuries ago, stargazers in ancient Egypt saw it as a symbol of Osiris, the god of death and rebirth, its crimson hue a reminder of life's cyclical nature. In the tales of Greek hunters, it marked Orion's strength, a celestial warrior forever etched in the sky. Indigenous peoples wove it into stories of seasons and survival, its shifting brightness a guide through the long nights. Today, it carries a name that trips off the tongue with a playful lilt Beetlejuice borrowed from a film that turned its mystique into pop culture gold. But beneath the whimsy lies a truth far grander. This star is a titan, a furnace of unimaginable power, and it is dying. Its size alone staggers the mind. Imagine a sphere so vast that Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars would vanish within its fiery embrace, its outer layers stretching past Jupiter's orbit, a red wall of plasma that dwarfs our entire solar system. Its surface churns with restless energy, not smooth like our suns, but roiled by massive convective cells each one larger than a dozen Earths, rising and falling in a dance of heat and gravity. These are not mere flickers but violent upheavals, eruptions that hurl gas and dust into the void, creating clouds that drift like cosmic veils. Betelgeuse is not a quiet star, it is a seething cauldron, alive with the chaos of its own unraveling. Six years ago, in the winter of 2019, it began to behave in ways that no one expected. Its light, usually a steady beacon in Orion's frame, began to fade. By early 2020, it had dimmed so dramatically that it seemed to vanish from its usual prominence, its brightness dropping by nearly two. The world took notice. Amateur astronomers pointed their telescopes skyward, their forums buzzing with theories. Was this the moment humanity had waited for? Was Betelgeuse after millions of years of burning finally ready to explode in a supernova that would light up the sky like a second moon? News outlets ran breathless headlines, and social media lit up with speculation. For a moment, it felt as if the entire planet was holding its breath, waiting for a cosmic spectacle that could rewrite the night sky. Scientists too were gripped by the mystery. Telescopes across the globe, from mountaintop observatories to orbiting giants like Hubble, turned their gaze to Orion. They watched, measured, and debated. Was this the precursor to a cataclysmic explosion, or something else entirely? The answer, when it came, was both humbling and astonishing. Beetle wasn't dying not yet. Instead, it was shedding its skin. Massive outbursts from its surface had flung material into space, cooling into thick clouds of dust that blocked its light from Earth. It was as if the star had draped itself in a shroud of its own making, a temporary veil that dimmed its brilliance, but revealed something far more complex, a star in the throes of a turbulent, unpredictable endgame. The James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's most advanced eye on the cosmos, offered the clearest view yet, launched to peer through the dust and distance of the universe. Its golden mirror turned toward Betelgeuse in the years that followed. What it saw was not a calm fading giant but a world of fire and chaos. Its infrared sensors pierced the obscuring clouds to reveal a surface alive with motion hotspots glowing like volcanic calderas, bright patches where plasma surged, and vast ejections of gas that billowed outward in irregular waves. These were not gentle breezes but titanic explosions, each one casting off enough material to form planets, moons or entire asteroid belts. The dimming, it turned out, was not a sign of imminent collapse but a symptom of Betelgeuse's restless nature a star literally tearing itself apart piece by piece. This discovery appended decades of assumptions. For years, astronomers had modeled the lives of red supergiants like Betelgeuse as a predictable march toward oblivion. Inside its core, the star burns through its fuel in stages, fusing hydrogen into helium, then helium into carbon, oxygen, and heavier elements until it reaches iron. Iron is the end of the line. It cannot fuse to produce energy. When enough accumulates, the core can no longer resist gravity's pull. It collapses in a fraction of a second, unleashing a shockwave that blasts the star's outer layers into space in a supernova. This explosion, for a brief time, can outshine an entire galaxy, scattering elements like iron, gold, and uranium across the cosmos elements that form the building blocks of planets, and even life itself. But Betelgeuse, it seems, is not following the script. Its cycles of dimming and brightening, its violent ejections, suggest a star caught in a prolonged chaotic prelude to its final act. Some scientists believe these outbursts are the early tremors of its collapse, a sign that the end could come in decades, perhaps even years. 
Others argue it might stabilize, shedding enough mass to delay the inevitable for centuries or longer. The uncertainty is maddening but exhilarating. It reminds us that the universe is not a clockwork machine but a place of wild, unpredictable beauty, where even the most massive stars can surprise us. Dot adding to the mystery is a recent discovery that has sent ripples through the astronomical community. Betelgeuse is not alone. Observations from telescopes like Gemini North suggest the presence of a companion star, a smaller, younger object orbiting at a distance of about 8.6 astronomical units. Nicknamed Betelbuddy by some, this faint companion perhaps a star, of 1.17 solar masses adds a new layer of complexity. Its gravitational pull may be stirring Betelgeuse's outer layers, influencing the massive ejections that cause its dimming. Some models even predict that this companion could spiral inward crashing into Betelgeuse in as little as 10,000 years, an event that could trigger shockwaves of its own. For now, the companion remains a tantalizing hint, awaiting confirmation. When it reaches its widest separation in 2027, the prospect of Betelgeuse's supernova is what keeps astronomers on edge. When it happens, it will be unlike anything humanity has witnessed in recorded history. At 548 light-years, it is close enough to be spectacular but far enough to pose no threat. The explosion will shine with the brightness of a crescent moon visible even in daylight for weeks, perhaps months. Its light will dominate the night sky, a blazing jewel in Orion that will draw every eye upward. Unlike distant supernova, obscured by dust or lost in the glare of galaxies, Betelgeuse's proximity offers a front-row seat to one of nature's grandest spectacles. Observatories around the world are ready, their instruments trained to capture every detail. Neutrino detectors, buried deep beneath mountains or frozen in Antarctic ice, stand poised to catch the first signals. Neutrinos, ghostly particles that can slip through a collapsing star's core, will arrive hours before the light, a silent alarm that the end has begun. Gravitational wave observatories like LIGO and Virgo will listen for ripples in spacetime, subtle distortions caused by the core's violent implosion. Telescopes across the electromagnetic spectrum, radio, infrared, visible, ultraviolet, X and gamma will track the explosion's evolution, from the first blinding flash to the fading glow of its remnant. Together, these observations will paint a multidimensional portrait of a star's death, a data set that could redefine our understanding of the universe. The science is thrilling, but the human story is just as compelling. For thousands of years, Betelgeuse has been more than a star, it's been a symbol, a guide, a source of wonder. In ancient Egypt it was tied to the cycle of life and death, a celestial marker of renewal. In aboriginal tales its flickering light told stories of the Seasons, today, it's a cultural touchstone, its name synonymous with both cosmic mystery and Hollywood whimsy. When it explodes, it will do more than light up the sky. It will unite humanity in a shared moment of awe. People from every corner of the globe will step outside, look up, and feel the weight of their place in the cosmos. News feeds will overflow with images. Schools will host stargazing nights. And artists will find inspiration in the glow of a dying star. The supernova will also answer questions that have lingered for centuries. How does a star's shockwave tear through its layers? What instabilities shape the explosion? How are heavy elements, forged in the crucible of its core, scattered into space? These elements, carbon, oxygen, oxygen, iron are the seeds of new stars, new planets, new life. Every atom in our bodies was born in a star like Betelgeuse, a fact that connects us to the cosmos in the most intimate way. When we watch its light, we are seeing the echoes of our own origins, a reminder that we are, in the words of one astronomer, stardust made conscious. Yet, for all its grandeur, Betelgeuse's story is one of patience. The star may explode tomorrow, or it may linger for another hundred thousand years. Its recent dimming, once thought to herald the end, now seems to be just another chapter in its long, turbulent life. The dust clouds that dimmed its light are clearing and its brightness has begun to climb again, as if to say it's not done surprising us. Astronomers continue to watch, their instruments trained on its every flicker. Each observation refines our models, revealing the messy, dynamic reality of a star in its final phase. The companion star, if confirmed, could reshape those models, entirely, forcing us to rethink how binary systems influence stellar death. In the meantime, Betelgeuse remains a constant in the winter sky, a red ember that burns with quiet defiance. It is a reminder of the universe's vastness, its unpredictability, and its beauty. It challenges us to keep looking, to keep questioning, to keep marveling at the forces that shape existence. When the day comes, whether in our lifetime or far beyond, its explosion will be more than a scientific triumph. It will be a moment of connection, a chance to stand together under a changed sky and feel the pulse of the cosmos. Until then, we watch, we wait, and we wonder. Knowing that Betelgeuse holds secrets that will one day light up the world, the star story is not just about its end but about what it leaves behind. The elements it will scatter gold uranium, oxygen will drift through the Orion molecular clouds, perhaps sparking the birth of new stars, new worlds.
This is the cosmic cycle at work, a process that began billions of years ago and continues today. The carbon in our bones, the iron in our blood, the water in our oceans all were forged in the hearts of stars like beetles. Its death will be a gift to the universe, a burst of creation that echoes across millennia. For now though it burns on a restless giant in the night, its surface roils with storms we can scarcely imagine, its light shifts in ways we cannot predict. The companion star, if it exists, adds a twist to the tail, a partner in its cosmic dance. Astronomers keep their vigil, their telescopes and detectors ready for the moment when Betelgeuse finally lets go. When it does, it will be a spectacle for the ages, a light that will shine across generations, reminding us that even in death, a star can illuminate the universe and our place within it. As the world waits, preparations continue. Observatories coordinate global campaigns, ready to spring into action at the first sign of collapse. Space telescopes will capture the earliest light. Ground-based instruments will dissect its chemical signature, and neutrino detectors will catch the silent messengers of its coarse demise. This will be no ordinary observation but a symphony of science, a global effort to witness a star's final act. Betelgeuse's proximity makes it a rare opportunity, a chance to study a supernova in unprecedented detail. Free from the dust and distance that obscure faraway explosions, the anticipation is palpable, but so is the patience. Betelgeuse has taught us that the universe does not rush. Its outbursts, its dimming, its companionable point to a star that defies our expectations, that challenges our models, that keeps us guessing. Each new observation is a piece of the puzzle, a step toward understanding not just Betelgeuse but the countless stars like it across the cosmos. By studying its light, we learn about the forces that shape galaxies, the processes that forge elements, the cycles that connect us to the stars, then the end Betelgeuse is more than a star, it is a story, a mystery, a promise, it is a reminder, that the universe is alive with change, that even the mightiest giants must one day fall, and that in their falling they give rise to new beginnings. As we look up at its red glow, we see not just a star but a reflection of ourselves curious, fleeting, and bound to the cosmos by the light of ancient fires, and so we watch, we wait, and we dream, knowing that when Betelgeuse finally blazes forth, it will light up not just the sky but the human spirit, uniting us in wonder at the vast beautiful unknown.